what's good what's up welcome back to my fucking channel bitches yeah we're in my bed yeah we also in the kitchen yeah i got a studio yeah 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 it is what it is that's what it is that's what it ain't i gotta stop drinking things over the video anyways what's up if you're new here my name's fucking elena if you're not new here you already fucking knew that but we are bringing back the talk in my bed videos. You guys fuck with these. I fuck with these. It's just been a minute. Um, but today's topic's a good one. I feel like it's a controversial one. Everyone has... That little cry was him. He doesn't want to hang out with me. Anyways, back to the video. Stop interrupting. You're being rude. I put a poll on Instagram just so that I can get the conversation going, get your guys' input. If you don't follow me on Instagram, I'm going to put that right here. But I was honestly genuinely like shocked by the reaction. I felt like it was going to be a 50-50 thing, but I think that it really wasn't. A lot of you guys leaned towards yes. Oh, I haven't even told you guys what the fuck we're talking about. What the fuck? I be getting so ahead of myself. I didn't even tell you guys what the question is, but you probably read it from the title. Can men and women be friends? Yeah, it was actually most of the votes. I think about 80% of you guys said yes and 20% said no, but I'm going to check it again right now. But before we get into the responses, let's get smoking. Cheers to whoever's smoking with me. All right, let's look at the poll. I feel like I've had it up for a little over an hour and I've already gotten a lot of responses, which thank you to everybody who responded and gave me your input. It definitely like made me a lot more prepared for this video and I'm excited to do this video because a lot of you guys on the live are like, I want to watch this shit. Okay, so for votes, I have about 100 of you said yes and 26 said no. So put that into perspective, but I wanted to read some of the responses that I got of why or why not. This person said, no, I feel personally like on either end, it will be a boy or girl will find attraction. So they're saying no, because one of them is bound to be attracted. Someone said depends. Someone said it's definitely possible. Someone who says different is a horn dog. Sex isn't the end all be. I definitely agree with that one for sure. That was honestly kind of funny too. Someone said yes, but at least one of the friends has to have very strong boundaries, morals, and values. I also agree with that. This one's kind of the same thing. Yes, but there has to be boundaries known. I think that boundaries is going to come up a lot in this conversation for sure. Someone said no because they will always sexualize and objectify us. When I asked my friends about this question or their input, a lot of them also said the same thing. That sometimes it's hard because men will objectify or sexualize a woman. And that kind of gets in the way of like the whole friends only type of shit. Uh, hard but possible. Got to communicate from the start. I don't necessarily agree with hard, but I think it's, it is possible. Communication is everything, especially in things like this. Yes and no, if they had some sort of crush on one another, but if it's always been platonic, then yes. Okay, matter of setting boundaries so that the lines don't blur. I like that blur, you know, part of it. Yes and no, men will stick around, but in the back of their mind, they will always want to get with you. Okay. If both intentions are pure, yes, but one has always got to fuck it up. <laughs> uh i'm gonna explain to y'all like my own personal experiences with what it you know being friends with the opposite sex and also just being like a single woman the last few years this person said no guy wants to hang out with a girl he isn't attracted to the girl may see him as just a friend but he doesn't okay there's some realness going on this person said yes gay people i don't know that person was so real for that they were like yes gay people basically saying no <laughs> i don't think it's common it really does take a man that values your past less slash letting go their ego too okay someone else said somehow each time the man will think they love you but i think exes are good friends because dot 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 what's the dot 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 you can have a platonic friendship with those of the opposite gender you will find nine times out of ten there will be feelings on one side interesting 
Friendship is based on trust and connection, not just sexual attraction, period. It goes against biology. If they're straight, someone will want it more. Okay. Yes, but it's rare. People will act on impulse and that's what ruins it. Yep. Been there. Only if one isn't attracted to the other and if there isn't a strong emotional connection. So no. Oh, okay. People are saying no. Hail to the fucking no. That's my man. <laughs> just kidding. Just kidding. Those are the responses that I got. So let's just start with my simple answer. Do I believe that men and women can be just friends? Yes, I do. I also do believe it is circumstantial. Like it depends on the history of it all. It depends on the physical levels to it. Kind of just all of that. To keep it short and sweet, I've had a lot of situations with men where will start to like get to know each other as friends or like that's what I see it as and they'll you know be a friend to me and whatever but then somewhere along the way translation kind of gets lost I'm a very straight up person honestly so I feel like if I like you I feel like you're gonna know that's just like how I am so I feel like people should be able to read that about me but sometimes people will get very caught up in their own heads and their own feelings um and I've had situations where even men that I've been friends with for years will like come out of the fucking woodworks and be like I'm in love with you and I'm like what and then they're like if you're not in love with me like I can't be your friend and that is just like a conversation that I feel like has to be had it sucks because I feel like me explaining these situations is going to make it seem like you can't be friends with the opposite sex but I truly don't believe in that and I think that that's why situations like this do bother me so much putting your feelings out there is like a lot it's a bold move so I respect it but I'm also going to be honest and let you know that like I'm not reciprocating the same feelings you know what I mean and I think that once that conversation's had that is a boundary that I'm setting and we can go from there but sometimes I've had this experience where we'll have this conversation and they will decide that they can no longer be my friend at all, that they can no longer be around me at all. And for me, that bothers me because what it makes me feel like is to be straight up with you, it's like, oh, what, you couldn't fuck me, so now you can't be my friend? Like, that's kind of weird on your part, not mine. Because I'm not going to pretend to like you or fuck with you like that just so that you'll be my friend or be my homie. And this is always something that's bothered me in situations like this because it makes me feel like men aren't really trying to know me for me and like they don't see me as me. They see me as somebody for them. And that's an issue there. I am not somebody for you. You should always see me as my own person. And just because I'm not reciprocating some feelings that you might feel in your head, because with these experiences and the men that I've had these conversations with, most of them, I've never had any sort of romantic or physical action towards them. So for those feelings to develop, we're completely one-sided. So I don't feel like it's fair when you kind of create this feeling for yourself and because it's not reciprocated you feel like you just can't be around them you know it's one thing when you break up with somebody after years and it's hard to be friends because I totally get that I have exes that I am not friends with not because there's anything like like vile there or any like bad blood none of that it's really just because under the circumstances it's just not it's not happening you know and i think that in order to move on sometimes that whole friend thing with exes just doesn't work out that's different than like being friends with somebody and then you know somebody kind of getting a little caught up and it comes back to those responses right like somebody ruins it you know sometimes it's tough being somebody that's very open because it will make people think that because you're being open with them that you might feel some type of way, but really you're just like that. And that's exactly how I am. I'm, an, I'm open. I'm like down to talk about everything and anything. I understand that people's feelings are valid and if they feel like they need to like step away and like create distance, totally understandable. 
but at the same time sometimes i feel like men don't even realize that they fuck it up because they don't just let it be and let it do its thing they kind of try to force something or like push something that's just simply not at that level or maybe will never be at that level like i said a woman will let you know when she's interested in you so if you have to second guess it i'm sorry i think that it's best you just kind of like take it for what it is you gotta always take things for what they are it goes back to the whole objectifying woman women don't owe you shit just because a woman doesn't want to sleep with you fuck you kiss you be with you whatever the fuck it is doesn't mean that she's not valuable of your time women are great friends i think that that's why women develop such good sisterhood within themselves i think we're all grown enough and mature enough to know that like attraction is totally natural just because you are maybe in a relationship or not you can even find somebody attractive and not want anything with them you don't gotta do shit i feel like attraction can totally ruin it because some people take attraction and they run with it rather than being like is this really there is this something that can develop that way is that really like what it is you know you gotta like make sure you're not letting attraction get to your head someone mentioned on the live their answer or like people's answers are a personal projection to their like own experiences which i also do believe i feel like a lot of people will answer this question with just experiences that they've had and shit like that but i think that the reality is is that whether you're in a relationship or not it's inevitable to kind of notice if somebody's attractive or not just because you're in a relationship doesn't mean you're just going to see everybody as ugly like let's be real but that's where boundaries come in that's where those lines come in where you know if you're in a relationship there's definitely not going to be like that hanging out all the time me and my buddy you know like it's different but if you're single and you're hanging out with somebody and you're just getting to know them you still don't owe anyone shit just because you guys are hanging out and just getting to know each other one-on-one -on -one doesn't mean that it automatically has to be something. I hate to say it, but sometimes I feel like guys can't ever just be my friend. And that's an ick to me. The older I get, the more I realize that attraction has nothing to do with like true connection. And I think that it's important to recognize that because not every good person we come across is meant to be someone romantic for us. And if we think like that all the time, we can end up ruining um, just genuine connection, platonic connection. Love is it always romantic? Like I said, it's totally different from being single versus being in a relationship because if I had a man and he had friends that were girls, the thing is, is I feel like if they were there before you, it's not really like your right to like come in and be like, hey, like, I'm here now. Like, you can't be friends with her and you can't be friends with her. Or like, hey, I'm here now and you can't be friends with him and you can't be friends with him. I just feel like it's not really fair. I asked on the live this question and a lot of men were in the chat being like, if I say my girl can't have male friends, like, that's the way that it goes. And I feel like there's some, you know, controlling in that. I don't know. I feel like that's not really a fair answer. I feel like if there's nothing there to worry about, why is that, like, a... A deal breaker you know what i mean like why is that like this goes my way or like no way i feel like the one red flag to me would be like if my man's friend that's a girl can't be like friends with me it's like if you're friends with my man girl you're gonna be friends with me too like that's just as simple as it is so i feel like it's all about people's energy the way they go about things the way that they are and how they are with you and your partner that trust, I feel like is just, it just has to be there, you know? I think you'll always realize too, like how people are really fucking with you if you really just like read the energy. And I think that, like I said, just being open and having like open conversation about how you guys are feeling just saves everyone the time and the bullshit. And that's all that it is. So yeah, I do believe that men and women can be friends as long as you make it known what you want and what you don't want and are able to respect each other's boundaries and go from there if the other person makes it weird it's on them i don't think it's your responsibility to take or like feel guilty for not feeling the same way as somebody um that's another thing though people if you know somebody feels some type of way 
about you, don't use them. Let them know how you feel and just go from there. I feel like you can never go wrong with just being honest um, and that's that. Let me know what you guys think down below in the comments. Do you think that men and women can be friends? If so, why? If not, why not? I would love to hear what you guys have to say after watching this video. Let me know. Do you guys agree with me? Do you not agree with me? What are your thoughts? Um, we can totally talk in the comments. But yeah, as always, thank you so much for watching. I love you guys so much and I will see you guys in the next video. Peace.